guys, a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. I hope you've all had a brilliant week and having a great day so far. So thank you very much for popping over again and seeing what we had for tea this week. Or if you're new, this is just the part of the week where I show you what I made for tea during the week and what I had and any recipes that I've done during the week will appear here as well. So I'd be glad to know as well that I managed to reach out to the winner of my giveaway who I couldn't get in touch with so <laughs> I finally made contact with uh, James so oh, I'm relieved about that because it saves me having to go and pick another winner but there will be many more giveaways coming up so make sure you stay subscribed for those. So I started off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday. We actually went out today and just instead of me cooking we were going to be going out on Saturday but we changed it till uh, Sunday instead. Yep so let's go and see what we had. So on Monday I made a wee mince and onion pie. So that's the mince pie there. I made some potato wedges, some sliced carrots and some peas as well. These aren't garden peas, these are wee marrow fat peas with some extra gravy on the top. Moving on to Tuesday and I made soup and bagels. So that's just a homemade cream of tomato soup with some extra cream on the top. And then I toasted some bagels and put bacon, lettuce and tomato in them and had a buttered corn in the cob also. Lovely wee combination, very simple but really tasty. And then Wednesday I made a steak and black pudding pie. Now not everybody likes this so we ended up doing pasta as well. So I had some chips, the steak and black pudding pie and then some garden peas at the back. And the same gravy as we had on Monday, just for over the top. And everybody likes steak pie, but they're not keen on the, the black pudding. So they had the <laughs> they had the same chips and the same peas. And I just made a very quick macaroni with a creamy Alfredo sauce. Very quick and very easy with a wee pinch of smoked paprika on the top. It's really nice. See if you haven't tried smoked paprika on cheese sauce, give it a wee try, it's lovely. And you'll have seen this already. This was the garlic and herb butter chicken that I'd done in the slow cooker. So these were the potatoes and the baby carrots and then the chicken tenders with that lovely garlic and herb butter sauce. This was delicious. Highly recommend this and I'll link the recipe in the description box down below just in case you haven't seen it. It's so quick and so tasty. I'm moving on to Friday and I made fish and chips. Quite a lot of chips this week eh? So that was the chips and then some breaded haddock on the top and then some garden peas at the back. We do love our peas as you know. Uh, moving on to Saturday and I just made pork chops. These were the pork chops that I got from the butcher. You'll have seen that in the wee shopping haul. With some broccoli and cauliflower and some sauté potatoes. Now these are the ones that I got from Lidl and they were absolutely beautiful. Now I've seen these in Aldi as well and I think they're about 89p and this will serve three. Oh, and they're lovely, they're so tasty. And then today we actually went out to Frankie and Benny's. It was just me and the other half. And I had cheeseburger and um, I had some chips with the cheese and chilli on the top. And Mr. What's for Tea had a Hawaiian pizza with chips. And this was lovely. So yeah, quite a basic week this week. Lots of chips and not many, you know, mashed potatoes or that kind of thing. We'll be having more of that next week. I've already got the, the menu down for next week, so I know what we're having already. So you'll <laughs> the mashed potato will be making an appearance next week. So thank you again for popping over, like I said in the beginning, guys, and checking out again what we had for tea this week. It means an absolute ton. So I'll leave you just now, and until I see you next, take care.
And bye for now. Bye now. Yeah.